I found the absolute best, and I'm talking number one photo cutout and background eraser app available for the iPhone or iPad, and I'm gonna show you how to use it in this video. But before I open up the app and show you how it works, I do wanna say if you're new to the channel and you wanna learn how to make content on your phone, be a mobile YouTuber, or you just wanna learn about cool apps like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, followed by the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. So the app I'm gonna show you today is called Exacto, and once you download this app and you understand how it works, you're gonna agree that this is hands down the best cutout tool and background eraser app on the market. Look, there is nothing that even comes close to what this app can do. You can do almost laser precision cutouts with it, and you can remove background images with ease. It's a really easy app to use once you get your head around it, so that's the purpose of this video. I'm gonna walk you through cutting out your first image. So open up your iPad or your iPhone, and let me show you how to cut out your first image using Exacto. When you first open up Exacto, you wanna look down at the bottom. You can take a picture and work on that one, or you can choose an image from your gallery. So for this tutorial, that's what we're gonna do. Once your image loads up, it's gonna show you a screen that looks like this with four points along the side. You wanna grab one of the corners and pull it as close as you can and crop the image as tightly as you can because that's less that you have to cut out with the tool. Once you have the image cropped, you tap on the check mark on the bottom right, then it's gonna open up a page like this. And here's the important thing. In order to zoom in and out, you have to pinch and zoom using two fingers. I'm holding my phone with two hands right now, and I'm using my two thumbs to push in and zoom in. And I'm gonna continue to zoom in until it gets really close like this. And this is where it begins. I wanna take my finger and tap at the bottom. You're gonna see the blue dot that's dropped right there at the very bottom. Then I'm gonna to tap to the next one, and the next one, and the next one, and the next one. Now you see there's two lines happening here. What's gonna happen is as you trace around the image, that second line is gonna end up circling the image. So it's a little bit clunky to work with at first until you get used to it, but once you figure it out, it completely makes sense. Now zooming back in here, what I wanna do is I'm just gonna keep going through and I'm gonna roughly tap along the edge. Really easy to do. Now you're gonna notice here that it's not actually perfect and we're gonna go in and we're gonna fix that just in a second. I'm just gonna speed up here and I'm quickly gonna go through and I'm just gonna tap my finger all along the edge. Now, if you wanna do this slowly and fine tune it along the way, you can, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna do it this way to save time. Again, I'm using two fingers to push and zoom right across. And I'm moving really quickly here and we're gonna fine tune this in just a second. Now I'm at the bottom here, so I wanna zoom out and then I'm gonna take this last blue dot, I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna pull it all the way down and I'm gonna go back to the first blue dot, zoom out and I'm gonna pull that down as well. So the bottom of the image is completely straight. Now I'm gonna zoom back in and every one of these dots that I dropped, I can touch it and I can move it, I can tap on it and I can move it, and this is where it's gonna allow me to actually shape the image. And this is where Exacto really shines. And it functions like a desktop software. If you've ever worked with Photoshop, you know how really easy the lasso tool is. This kind of works like the lasso tool. So I'm just gonna go along, and I'm gonna move these until I'm happy with each placement of the dot. Now for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up to get through the whole thing. Okay, so now I have the image completely outlined and I'm pretty happy with it. Now that she's cut out, if you go up to the top here on the checkerboard, once I tap on the checkerboard, it shows you what parts of the image are gonna disappear. Now, if I zoom back in and I'm not completely happy, like say I don't like this chunk of hair over here, I can zoom back in, tap on that dot, and move it wherever I want. Now, over here on the left, you're gonna see a plus, minus, X, and a magnet. If I wanna add a control dot somewhere, I can tap on the plus icon, and it's gonna drop more dots, and I can go through, and I can adjust them. I can also remove them. I can remove all of them, which I don't wanna do for this tutorial, or I can tap on the magnet, and the magnet allows you to fine tune to a sharp edge. So, now I'm gonna zoom back out, and I'm gonna tap on the checkerboard to see how it looks, and for the purpose of this tutorial, 
That looks good enough, I'm happy with that. Now here's something else I wanna show you, and that's the layering feature. So if you have your original image cut out, but you have additional areas that you need to cut, you can't just come in and start dropping more control points because it's gonna mess up the cut you already have. So what you wanna do is you wanna come up to the layering option on the top, tap on the plus icon, and that's gonna add another layer for you to work with. So let me show you one way you can do this because in this image, there's nothing else that I can cut out, but let me show you what you can do. You see down here in the bottom, there's something called feathering. So if I go back to the original cut, which is here on the top, feathering applies to the actual edge of the cut. As zero means it's gonna be a hard cut. So let me show you what that looks like. If I zoom in and I tap on the checkerboard, that's what zero looks like. But if I crank it all the way up to 10, it's gonna soften the edge and it's gonna look like that. So let's find something here in the middle, maybe a four, and see what that looks like. That might be a little too much, so let's go two. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Now, feathering works really well around hair, but let me show you what you can do with layers. So obviously, if the feathering works around the hair, which I'm not 100% happy with this, but for the sake of the tutorial, you understand what I'm trying to do. But the edge of her sweater doesn't look good. So one thing you can do, you can go back to the layer that we just added, tap on that, and then you can go back in and you can start adding more cut points. Just like this. And I'm just gonna quickly do this. Now you see it also has the original cut, but it's not gonna interfere with that because we're on a new layer. Okay, so now I'm gonna zoom out and I'm just gonna cut part of this to show you how it can work. Okay, so here's what we did. Again, I would go back and I would do the entire thing, but let me show you how this can work with layering. So the edge was soft, but now we have a sharp edge because we cut this out on an additional layer. And if you scroll up to the hair, the hair is still soft where we feathered it. So that's one thing that you can do with layering. But if there was an additional area that you needed cut out, you would add that layer and then you would cut that area out. And you can add as many of those as you need. So you have your image cut out, go back to the checkerboard, make sure everything looks okay. And then to save this, all you have to do is go to the far right, tap on that icon, and it saves it to your camera roll. After it's saved into your camera roll, you can either go into your camera roll and then open it up in your favorite photo or video editing app if it supports transparent images, or you can tap on the back arrow on the top left of the screen, and it's gonna take you back to this area. Now, all of the images that you work on will all be saved here, and you can tap on any of them and you can open them back up and continue editing. Once you're all finished, you can tap on edit on the top. It's gonna close it out, and of course you can delete it down here in the bottom, you can duplicate it, you can save it again, you can send it in a message or send it to another app by tapping the three dots on the bottom right hand corner and then scroll through, find the app that you wanna send it to, tap on that app and it's gonna open right up in that app. If you wanna learn how to make content on your phone or be a mobile YouTuber, be sure to hit that subscribe button followed by the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you so much for watching, I do appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video.